Hey, good morning. I don't know if you can see this, but we got a thunderstorm coming and there's a, a rainbow up in the sky there. And that's a, a warning to me to put the, uh, pull the tarp on over this uh, 6,000 pounds of baby radial drill. <laughs> that's a small one. So, I'll pull the tarp over this and I'll get in there. Do what some machining. Here is uh, an early baby Axelson lathe. Now, what's kind of funny about this is uh, the uh, tail stock is really quite heavy on these. And uh, during this year, uh, 1941, when this was made, a, a crank to move this monster tail stock along the ways was optional and of course this machine doesn't have <laughs> the crank so to move this tailstock I have to get behind here loosen these nuts make sure they're loose and pull it and push it but once you get it going it, it does okay and uh, it doesn't pull very good using the hand wheel to uh, pull it, and you probably shouldn't because the shaft's a little smaller and it should be wallow out the bushing. Up. So you got to get back here and push and pull. Now, what I'm thinking is that this turret will be pretty handy because I can leave the tailstock in place and then use the long quill to do some operations. I mean, like uh, changing from uh, a drill um, to uh, a life center, it, it takes a while. So I think this uh, turret might be pretty handy for that. And uh, I'm not, uh, one of the things I like to do is to do things I haven't done before. You know, and that's why you'll never see me doing uh, induction hardened chrome plated hydraulic shaft <laughs> probably ever again. I want to do things, that's hydraulics, but uh, I want to do things that I haven't done. And it's kind of fun to turn the camera on. I think some of you enjoy that. And uh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to on that radial drill press because my experience with those was limited to the community college here where I drilled the three or four uh, holes you had to. <laughs> but uh, the radial drill does a bunch of stuff other than drilling holes and uh, that's uh, what I want to look into, the line boring and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to make some very simple spacers for uh, uh, a, a, a fixture I have in my uh, woodworking department, which is top secret. I don't show woodworking, well, because I taught myself. <laughs> I probably do it really strange. But, uh, you know, I think I'm pretty safe with woodworking. You know, those uh, blades scare the crap out of me like the, uh, like the wheels on the tool and cutter grinder. Look out. Okay, so I'll get you mounted up here. I'm going to get this Axelson started up, run it in reverse for a few minutes, get those, uh, all those gears in the back uh, looped up, and try the turret. Okay. Back in a second. Well, okay, we got this um, turret here. Let's see if I get you adjusted good. And uh, I haven't used it and uh very much so i'm going to try something very simple i could use a few spacers for a woodworking fixture got a piece of aluminum in here so i'm going to drill it turn the od and then cut it off you got to start somewhere okay gonna run at uh, 629 rpm
turn the old D. Got a Criterion boring head in there. Let's see if it'll turn the OD. I got one of my custom jig bore um, handmade dually cut of ground uh, boring bars. Okay, now I'm going to put it in reverse. That's not going to be too bad. I'm going to try it one more time. Make sure I'm locked down here. Back and forth. 
Somewhere down there. Ugh. That's hot. Well, there's my first uh, production using the blades tailstock turn. Okay, got a bit of a learning curve to go over this, but I'm at a good start. And one thing that I need to do is, uh, is probably shorten uh, these tool holders as much as possible. And there's a clearance problem you can see with this, with your tool, uh, regular tool post and everything. So uh, I, I, think, uh, I think the thing's really quite good. I, I tried one on a, on a little Atlas bench lathe I had years ago, and I had quite a bit of trouble with it. I think uh, I could do things with it, smaller things than brass. But this being heavy here, I th I'm going to see what I can do in steel. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. I knew that thunderstorm was coming. Look at this. <laughs> I'll have to wipe that old Johnson down. I got some uh, stuff to cut. Well, I'm still in the planning stages on removing the head off this... Uh, drill press. Uh, a lot of different things can happen, but one thing that is going to happen is it's going to get repaired and I'm going to use it. Learn how to use it. Okay. Bye-bye.